Welcome, one and all. It's Ben and Sean from Pratfall. And today, Ben, we've got another juicy trailer which reveals something rather large. Oh, yeah, tell me more, baby. Oh, it's very large indeed, sir. Do you want to dive in and have a little look? Okay, so first of all, if my audio quality isn't up to the usual par, then I do apologise. I'm currently away from home, but we enjoy reacting to these teasers, and we know you guys like these ones too, so we didn't want to skip one, did we? No, we wanted to crack right on anyway. Okay, Sean, so we've got our first look at a brand spanking new big boss man enemy. Oh, he's scary, isn't he? He's pretty scary, yeah. So a lot of people have been talking about, or speculating, about this new living cyclops right which presumably would be similar to the hollow cyclops yeah he certainly seems to have at least some level of a similar move set and obviously a similar size so there's definitely some comparison to be made there yeah so i mean you can't tell really because of his mask but presumably he's only got one eye but he does have a big club whereas the hollow cyclops have the um was it like the twin daggers like sword type things i mean the one the move that i see where the uh, the big giant guy swings his club and then swings it again is very, very similar to one of the moves of the Cyclops. But I don't know, man. I, I'm not convinced that it is just a non-hollow Cyclops. I think it's obviously a similar enemy in terms of size and moveset. But based on how he looks and obviously with his club, I think he's got to be some kind of giant troll or something, right? Um, yeah, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, but then, but then that begs the question, presumably he's going to be part of one of the existing factions, but is he? Could there be a new faction? Would he be a scavenger? I don't know. It is very strange, because based on aesthetics, I'd say scavenger, but then later in the trailer, Ben, if you notice, uh, the player goes to loot it, and he drops a load of VUCA brawler heads. I, I think surely that has to be a placeholder. That's That was my assumption as well, right? Yeah. Currently, with all the factions, I think each faction has, like, one boss enemy. So, for example, the VUCA have the VUCA Brawler, and the Scavengers have the Matron. So they could potentially be adding a second kind of boss enemy to the faction, or it could be a whole new faction. Oh, a new faction would make the most sense, I think. You're going into a whole new, big, large-scale biome. And that's exciting, right? Because they've not... Sh if that's true, let's assume for now, for argument's sake, that that is true and we're getting a new a new faction. They've not shown anything about that. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it, it I, makes... I mean, there is, there is the possibility that they are just standalone enemies. So I think, yeah, either they are just... They just exist in the world by themselves or they're part of some kind of new faction. Maybe like a bloody orc faction or something like that oh that'd be good and to be fair as well I, I i do think another thing that goes along with the theory of a new faction um you see uh some sort of uh like walls behind the um behind the boss that are reminiscent i would say of like the scavenger tribes and maybe to a certain extent the vuka tribes but they've certainly got a distinct look it's definitely not that same sort of walls and that same terrain that we that we've come to expect from both vuka or uh, the scavenger tribes yeah speaking of the terrain presumably this is part of the mountain biome but there's obviously no snow on the ground so i would imagine this is quite low down in the mountains however he's level 32 so this yeah i i was going to mention this as well right because uh on the uh, I think it was the last the last teaser that we reacted to, right? We had a shot that that looks like it's very high up in the mountains. We've obviously got the the icy border that we saw in that in that teaser, and then um, all the sort of fog and misty effects, which seems to tell that in that shot we're high up in the mountains. And yet, the ice wyvern that we saw was level ten. Here, presumably, we're much lower down towards the ground yep. at a base level. And like you say, yeah, he's level 32, so it's that's very that, interesting. That's exactly what I was going to ask you about, yeah. Because you would assume the further up you go the mountain, the higher level the enemies are going to be. I mean, it's really cool, though. I don't know why I assumed the entirety of the mountain is just going to be covered in snow. 
Yeah, um, yeah. We're clearly going to get some good variety in the environment and the terrain. So it's very cool. But yeah, level 32, man. I mean, if the level 10 thing uh, wasn't a placeholder, then that is a lot of level the variation it, that unpredictability of not having it as clean cut as the higher you go the harder it is but having yeah just this interesting dynamic of well you don't really know what you're going to get in different areas one one other thing i did just notice actually as, I, as i've been watching it back as we've been talking you do actually see there's another there's another troll or cyclops thing in the background so is it? yeah at um about five seconds in um, when we have the wide shot. Oh, no way. Which means there's two of them very close together, presumably both level 32 within, what, 10, 20, 30 meters of each other, which is terrifying. Which means, yeah, so potentially these aren't even boss enemies. I think these are just big, normal enemies. Because as well, do you think these are smaller than the ho hollow cyclopses, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, look, in in some of the hollow halls, you get two of the hollow cyclops together in the same room, so that's not outside the realms of possibility. But it's not. They're not in some kind of like boss arena. Think of like the Wisp Wyvern, right? Yeah. That they're just kind of. They look like they're just roaming around. Yeah, it does look like they're normal enemies. Okay, so another question. So last time um, we saw the new the, the, get over here, right? Yes. And you were speculating about like the weight of different enemies and stuff like that. And we basically came to the consensus that you're not going to be able to hook boss enemies to you, but pretty much anything else you can. So I come back to that point. You ain't hooking these guys. I think it's size. I think it's size and like, let's say, perceived weight. I'd like the option with certain enemies, but I don't really know how that would work. We'll, we'll see when, when the update drops. Uh, but one last thing I wanted to talk about. Okay. At the very end of the teaser, when he loops the... The troll logo cyclops thing yep you see the little the new little item on the far right yes what is that because it i think the like the cyan kind of um background that was what the new fossils and like the artifacts have it implies a placeable artifact yes um, however it looks to me like some kind of armor piece it looks like a belt or something well it, it, i think it's his belt the the, th yeah. the thing that confuses me, right? Because the belt looks like the belt he has got on, and obviously it's got like the loincloth esque thing attached to it as well. But what are the green crystals inside it? Because he doesn't have that sticking out of his belt. See, that looks like something you'd get from the Hollow Cyclops. Yeah, yeah, it's it curious. It looks like it's come straight out of the Hollow Horse, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it, but it's a big troll nappy. <laughs> it basically is. <laughs> But why are you placing that? That's what I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. It's not exactly a precious uh, artifact, is it? I suspect it has some other purpose. Maybe significant, maybe not. But some other purpose that um, they are excited for us to get our hands on, I think. Oh. And well, that wasn't that wasn't the final thing, actually, Sean, because uh, big glaring text on the screen, the date for the update will be revealed tomorrow. Oh, it's exciting. What's your prediction? I want to know your prediction right now. What are we on? The 29th? Yep. Mm, hold on. Let me think about this. I'm going to go the 8th of November. I'm going to go the 7th. 7th. I okay. think, I think a, a week... Traffic. Yeah, I think a week after the reveal of the Halloween build contest winners. It's coming, baby. Oh, I hope you're all excited as we, as we are, because we're excited, aren't we, Ben? Oh, we're very, very excited. It's going to be a big one. But how big? That's the question. How big is too big? Oh, you can't have too big within Shrouded. No, you can't have too big with anything, my friend. <laughs> All right. On that note, thank you once again for joining us, guys, for this little uh, teaser reaction video. We're very excited for the update. We hope you're excited too. If you're not yet in our Discord, the link is in the description. Hop in there. There's a bunch of people in the Discord that love Enshrouded and speculate and talk about all these kind of things. They talk about it before we get a chance to, to be honest. <laughs> like and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, I've been Ben. And I've been Sean. And you have been watching... Pratfall. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>